gentlemen, welcome to day four. So, obviously I did not post a day two or three. Here's what happened. Day two, I pushed off my workout, no excuses. Um, I only had one massage at 9 a.m. I host a weekly fit club, meaning I bring the projector and go set it up in a big room that I rent out and pretty much put out a, a city-wide invite, free workout for whoever wants to show up and do some P90X, Asylum Insanity, we mix it up every week. So I host that at six o'clock. So 9 a.m. massage, told myself, go home, eat something, and push play on my Asylum Day 2 workout, which was Upper Elite, told myself to push play at 12. So it gave me some rest time in between workouts. Uh, we did Les Mills, uh, Pump is the program, but it comes with a 45 minute workout combat, which is like martial arts, MMA stuff to music, which is really fun. So, uh, where was I going with that? I pushed my workout off. <laughs> That's where I was going. So I did 12 o'clock came around and I just, you know, got, got lost in my business stuff in the beach body world. I was, you know, on Facebook or whatever I was doing. So, pushed my workout off, told myself, okay, I'm going to push play at four o'clock, which gives me time to, you know, four to five for asylum, from five to 5.30, prep for fit club, and at 5.30, be there so I can set up. Four o'clock came around, took my pre-workout, waited too long, it was four, like 25-ish when I pushed play. So I only did about 15 minutes, maybe 20 tops of my actual asylum workout for that day until I looked at the clock and realized there's no way I'm gonna be done and ready for Fit Club at 5.30 when I need to be there. So I pushed pause, went to Fit Club, busted out. Uh, not only did we do 45 minutes of combat and I was just drenched in sweat because I actually brought it myself that night. Uh, we tagged on Abraparex from the original P90X. So that was an hour 15 or no, an hour. So a 45 minute combat, 15 minutes ab ripper. So I was already brutalized when I got home and settled in probably about eight o'clock rolled around. And I was going to skip my workout and push it off. And then I looked inside of my Asylum 2 group that we have, shout out to you guys. You guys are rocking it. And because of everyone posting that day, when I had checked in there, everyone's like, Upper Elite was awesome. I push play today. How about you guys? I was tired, but I did it anyway. So I went, Pfft. Freaking A, I have to do it too. So I was exhausted, took another pre-workout, push play on the workout. Sucks because I recorded the entire workout and it was a really, really good one. Probably my top five favorite workouts ever. Um, I'll throw in clips next time. Um, if you want to see it, go check out uh, NC Fit Club, Coach Todd, go check out his clips. Um, they're, they're awesome, awesome workouts. Um, upper Elite, definitely one of my favorites. Um, so I recorded in the wrong video format. Um, still trying to figure out some stuff on this new camera. So uh, for those of you techies out there, it recorded in a .cpi file. I tried three or four different converters. None of them would do CPI. So if you guys know how to convert that, I have the files. I'd love to throw them up. Um, so moving on, day three was yesterday, Halloween. Again, pushed my workout off. Um, it's definitely a bad habit I've been having lately because I've you know, I don't like doing my workouts at night. Um, I like to do them first thing in the morning, get it out of the way. It sets my mood for the day. I feel good. Um, so yesterday, that did not happen. It was my first day off of work in probably two weeks or so. And so I slept in. And because of that, I overslept. And I was kind of groggy throughout the entire afternoon. So no excuses. Went out to a haunted house for Halloween. Got back late. Could I have pushed my workout? push play on it at least yeah I could have it sucks I'm not gonna beat myself up about it so 6 a.m. rolls around this morning day four I did yesterday's workout at 6 a.m. which is power legs that thing is a beast you're wearing the red band around your ankles the entire time you're doing power jacks and kettlebell swings and all that stuff it was brutal but felt really really good to bust that out first thing in the morning um, like I said, set my mood for the day. I felt energetic all day. Had a great day of massaging and clients today. So I've, you know, I'm in a fantastic mood right now. It's about 6.30ish and I'm getting ready to push play on my day four workout. So I'm officially 100% back in it. We have back and six pack. 
So I'm excited for this one. Um, I actually have not seen any clips of this yet because I've been watching Todd's videos, a few other people, but I haven't watched any of this one yet. So I have no idea what to expect. But of course, you guys enjoy watching me get my butt kicked. And without further ado, here's the clips. You guys want to see one of my pet peeves? I live in a small apartment complex, right? Every freaking time I'm working out. And this isn't just when I work out, anytime I go outside pretty much. There's this old overweight lady right in that doorway. Nothing against her being overweight or her physical appearance. But she's out there and in a one hour period, I'll see her smoke three to four cigarettes. She's out there three to four different times throughout the one hour that I'm busting my butt. You guys, drop the bad habits, make the change. There you have it, boys and girls. Day four in the books. Um, how do I compare this one? So it's kind of like for those of you who done, uh, who did, <laughs> for those of you who did the first asylum. This workout is pretty much just like uh, back to core. It's still gonna get your sweat on. It's more isometric contraction. Um, as you saw, I did a combination of both the pull-up bar and the dumbbells because you can choose either one. Um, you know, pull-ups are still my weak point. Uh, past shoulder issues <laughs> from massaging. So it's something I'm working on, but uh, pull-ups are not my strong point. I could do like four or five with really good form and then it starts to go south. So I showed a combination of both the dumbbells and the pull-up bar and then the typical ab moves. Um, you know, it, it was a good workout. Definitely got my sweat on. Um, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, I could definitely tell, especially the uh, the five count abs where you're holding these different positions, lift one leg at a time. Um, it's pretty intense. So um, I was happy that this one's not crazy jumping around ladder stuff because my legs are pretty toast from this morning. Uh, so it's the last time I'm gonna be combining legs, <laughs> uh, power legs with this workout, so no more. And another thing I need to do real quick is give a big, big shout out to my buddy and my sponsor, Chad. Chad created Funds For Your Life. 
Um, no crazy product upselling or anything like that. Just a really, really cool way to give back. Um, I don't know about you guys, but one of the best feelings in the world for me is to be able to, you know, give you know, whether it be cash, time, you know, free massages, that kind of stuff, it's just be able just to give back. So this is a simple way um, to set up a donation or a fundraiser for whatever issues. It can be to cover medical costs, somebody gets in an accident and needs some cash up front, um, whatever it may be. Just an awesome way to set up a fundraiser to raise money for whatever you need. Um, so actually what I'm doing right now is doing research on um, Hurricane Sandy, obviously, just happened. So uh, I've been, I, you know, I, I have a lot of my customers, clients, friends on the East Coast. I know a lot of people were impacted. Um, so I just, you know, being on the West Coast, there's not a whole lot I can do. So this is one one thing I can do is raise money. Um, so I'm going to be setting up a fundraiser. I'm doing research right now to see kind of the best organizations that are on the East Coast, um, especially in Jersey. You know, you guys got hit hard. So for those of you over there, I hope you're all safe. Um, but if you personally have been affected by this, please send me a message um, so I can make sure that you get the help that you need. Um, that's just one thing that I, I can do right now, especially, you know, that's why I hooked up with Chad. <laughs> I mean, the sponsorship is just amazing. It's an awesome website. So I um, hope you guys can back me up and support me in this. So for those of you who want to help out, who want to donate, who want to give back and donate, um, please just get a hold of me, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Um, we'll be in contact. So aside from that, I am out for the night. Time to do a recipe video. So you guys stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, you thought the video was over. <laughs> Post workout. Uh, this has been about an hour after I finished the workout. Took a recovery drink. Um, was grilling outside, pretty much in the rain. So I was gonna make a recipe video. I posted on Facebook about it, and that's not happening because this is incredibly easy. If you guys have a grill, you just wrap the nice little asparagus there in foil with a little bit of water, olive oil, and garlic. Toss both of those bad boys on the uh, grill. Flip when necessary until done, and then enjoy. So, I'm about to mount down on some of this dinner and then head to bed. You guys have a good night.